So Notion just dropped AI agents. And let me be clear, this is not just another AI feature that nobody uses. This is Notion becoming arguably the best productivity tool on the market. But here is the issue. Most people are going to set up one basic automation and call it a day and completely miss the insane potential sitting right in front of them. Now I've been spending the last weeks diving deep into Notion agents, testing everything from simple task management to complex business workflows. And what I discovered blew my mind. So in this video, I'm gonna show you 19 ways to use Notion agent that you probably didn't know about. From creating a CRM that updates itself, to redesigning websites, to conducting better research, to party planning. Starting with number one, we're using Notion agent to turn screenshots into Notion documents. This one is absolutely wild. You can take messy screenshots, sticky notes, whiteboard photos, whatever, and Notion agent transforms them into organized databases with all the information with proper structure. Here's exactly how you do it. Go into Notion and in the bottom right corner, you'll see a little button. Click that, that's how you open Notion agent. Then upload your screenshots and prompt it, analyze these screenshots from our user testing session and create a structured report with a database of findings organized by feature, severity, and user quote. Notion agent will extract all the information, categorize it, and build you a proper database. What would previously take you an hour, if not two, of manual data entry now takes about 30 seconds. And depending on the whiteboarding session, you can change the prompt accordingly. The reason that this works so well is that Notion agent is native to the Notion workspace. So it perfectly integrates with their tools. First, it extracts the information from the photo. Second, it analyzes the best way to format this in Notion. And third, it creates the necessary Notion documents. Now, now this is different than other third-party AI agents that aren't nearly as effective at this integration. That's because they're external tools. This is Notion's internal tool. But visual transformations is just the tip of the iceberg. So this brings us to use case number two. Create social media posts from research. If you ever try creating content, it is a massive time suck. You spend hours researching, then hours manually putting together documents, then writing the post, then actually hitting post. Notion agent can cut this process down to minutes. To do this, you can have it go search the web for recent news and then create specific specific content resources based on the channel you want to hit post on. And so in this example, I'm gonna create LinkedIn posts and it directly integrates with Notion. So if that's something you're using already for social media, it works perfectly versus having to go to an external AI tool, copy and paste everything over. It's just manual work that this eliminates. Here's an example prompt. Search the web for a recent news about topic, create five social media posts for LinkedIn, highlighting the most interesting findings with our brand voice. Key here is the our brand voice. This can link directly to a Notion document outlining how you wanna speak. And at the bottom of the prompt, it says don't recreate any ideas that were posted in the last three months. Again, the key here is referencing the style guide that you likely have, and if not, you should use AI to help create that so that the content is in your voice. Other AI agents don't integrate as well with Notion databases. And as a result, it's a lot harder to say something at the end of your prompt, like don't recreate any ideas that were posted in the last three months. That's something hard to do, but in Notion agent, it's easy and this is super valuable. So you're not regurgitating the same content. Put all that aside. And ultimately one of the best parts about Notion agent is that it can integrate with different AI models. For example, for content, I prefer using Claude. So I'm not forced to then go use OpenAI's model. This is the kind of thing that you to require a full-time social media manager, but now it's just like a two minute automation. Let's go to use case number three, your personal party planner. So I throw an annual Christmas party in New York City for charity. Uh, it started with 40 people. Then the second year it was 90 people. The third year it was 150 people. It's getting pretty crazy. And it's sort of like planning a wedding, a lot of work. And so what I use is I use Notion to have a single database with all the invitees and see if they've paid, if they're attending, if they're not. And I used to have to do like very manual updates to this entire database. And there's hundreds of people in this. So to help with my management, this is a prompt that I use and it's hyper specific for this event. But the key here is that I'm able to call out specific labels in a Notion database, which Notion agent can analyze properly. That's the exciting part. Here's the prompt. Analyze the database and based on season four status, make a list of who has to be followed up with based on a tag naming convention. If they have a tag of mistletoe or out, they should not be followed up with. In this case, I use mistletoe if somebody is entirely paid. It's the Christmas formal extravaganza. We need the Christmas spirit. Use case number four, critiquing and redesigning landing pages or resumes. So I see your landing page and a resume as the same concept, just one's for a business and the other's for a person. The ultimate goal is for you to get somebody who sees this page and then converts. In the business case, right, that might be a lead, a sale, signing up for a newsletter. Uh, in the resume's case, that might be getting an interview or sending you to the next round. These are both forms of digital displays. And so what Notion Asian can do is it can analyze your resume, it can analyze your landing page, and 
roast what's not working, and then rebuild the whole thing with a proper layout using Notion blocks. In this case, I'll be doing it for a landing page. Here's the prompt. Critique this landing page and suggest improvements. Refer to a Notion doc, i.e. Your, your brand guide, your messaging goals, et cetera. Then create a redrafted version that incorporates your feedback and uses Notion blocks to show the layout. You upload or link your landing page, you have these key Notion docs for reference, so it knows what you're trying to do. The agent then searches through your workspace, the website, and provides a detailed critique with specific problems, then rebuilds the entire page right in Notion. This is like having an expert and a designer review your site for free instantly. Let's say you wanted to do it for resume, you could upload your resume, say the type of job you're applying for, and optimize the structure so you can stand out amongst other candidates. You would change the prompt a little bit, but yes, this use case is a two for one, but it is super, super valuable. Use case number five is use Notion Agent as a knowledge gap detector. A game changer for everyone, pay attention. Notion Agent can scan your entire workspace and flag where information is missing or outdated or places to improve. This could look like a SOP without an owner, a database with incomplete fields, key resources that would probably be helpful for either you or somebody you're working with. Here's a simple prompt of this in action. Review everything in this folder. What are some resources missing that could be helpful for our team? I'm using this for my content team to identify things that we can improve on. And this matters because most teams don't even know what they don't know. You're operating with blind spots and you only discover them when something breaks or somebody else tells you what's the problem. So Notion Agent helps you identify areas of improvement that you probably haven't even thought about. This is strategic value that's derived from the resources that you're using in your day to day. To help with my YouTube videos, I had to go through everything and suggest resources that could help my team. One of them was a first 30 second checklist to make sure the hook of the video is dialed. It called out this issue that we didn't have this sort of checklist. It created the exact doc that it told me we were missing. And now I have a clear SOP in Notion that our team references for the first 30 seconds of this YouTube video. A problem identified by Notion agent using our resources, a solution identified, and then created and immediately implemented. Something I didn't even think about, but now we have. Another feature to call out in this case is that Notion Agent doesn't just use Notion. It can integrate directly with other tools that you're using. So in this case, if something is missed or hasn't been updated in a couple of days, Notion Agent could use something like Slack to directly message that person to go ahead and actually update this record. Let's go to use case number six, which is a life journal summarizer. This one is definitely personal, but I wanted to call it out early because it's incredibly powerful. If you use Notion as a digital journal, Notion agent can summarize your weekly or monthly entries into themes. Here's a prompt. Analyze my journaling documents and identify trends you see. It could respond, hey, you mentioned stress seven times this week, but also noted gratitude four times, fitness came up three times, etc. So by having all your journaling in one place and then analyzing it with Notion agent, it can be an effective way to step back and like take a high level view of what you're thinking about and potentially provide some advice. This is more about understanding yourself than it is about productivity, but that's maybe the most productive thing you can do. But these next three use cases are all about just concrete productivity. Use case number seven, create a what changed daily digest. Instead of manually checking every page or database in your workspace, Notion agent can send you a daily snapshot of everything that changed. New tasks added, status updates, key document edits, all in one daily digest. But here's what a prompt could look like. Analyze this workspace and create a summary of everything that was completed. This summary should be added to a database called Daily Digest in the operations page. I then go on to add some key details about the columns. You can see them on my screen now, but I wanna highlight something here. If you've been following this channel, I generally don't believe task completion is that important. Instead, I actually think that the impact that you have is the most important thing. You wanna be focusing on things that actually move the needle for your business or for whatever you're working on. What this allows for you to do is to analyze what you're actually doing and see if it's high or low impact. This way you can be real with yourself if you're just being a task monkey or actually being productive. And my favorite part about this is it perfectly references the locations in Notion where it got the information from. So you can see, okay, yeah, I did do that. I did do that. Oh, they did do this. And you have a direct link to the source of truth. You can run this in the morning or at the end of the day to see a overview of the different changes. Use case number eight is similar, but there's key differences. And this is about automating weekly updates. If you've ever had to manually compile weekly status updates across multiple threads, it is a total pain. Hunting through your project databases, looking through messages, it's just like, 
it's a disaster. Notion Agent eliminates this entirely. Simple prompt, review this week's activity in project and create a weekly update showing whatever key features you want it to show. You can see the prompt for something that I've used. You point the agent to your project database. It analyzes all the changes over the week and generates a formatted update. Done. Done and dusted. And now this is the kind of task that feels necessary, but drains your energy every week. Now it can be automated, but I do want to call out one thing in this prompt. At the end of it, I say, identify any anomalies to flag or activities that should be eliminated. Notion agent can highlight any anomalies or things that are just a waste of time. Like if a sudden specific doc wasn't updated, it'll flag that so you can spot these trends early on. Or if it's like this process is not needed, it can eliminate that entirely. This way you can be alerted on any potential issues or key places to improve. This goes perfectly with the next use case. Use case number nine, monthly or quarterly progress reports. All three of these past use cases are similar, but there's key reasons why they're different. Daily and monthly are on the micro, monthly slash quarterly are on the macro. Having a Notion agent write monthly recap reports, in my opinion, is very critical because when you're working with people, momentum is really important important and these monthly touch points really help with this and even if you're working by yourself this helps you step back and realize how much progress you may actually have made this past month again the key here it references the exact changes that you made you can also see like how it's doing its research and then you can see where it's referencing these updates okay that's enough of that. Let's go to use case number 10, which is about competition live tracking and counter move suggestions. This is executive level intelligence work. Notion agent can monitor competitor sites, job postings, and release notes. Then it updates database with changes and proposes counter actions. Like how do you want to react to this? Do you want to build a similar feature? Do you want to change what you're doing? So a prompt can look like track competitors A, B, C, D, E weekly. Update DB with changes, recommend counter moves, prioritize by impact slash effort. You provide a list of competitors Editors and your strategy constraints. You run it weekly and you can get high level insights and integrate it directly into your roadmap database. Think about what this essentially means. You're able to run competitive intelligence 24 seven without hiring an analyst. And you're getting actionable recommendations, not just like raw data. And it's integrated directly in a tool that you're likely already using. Use case number 11, brand voice consistency check. Notion agent can review all of your marketing materials and check them against your voice guide to make sure that they align. A prompt can be review all our public marketing pages pages in Notion and check for brand voice consistency against our voice guide. Create a report showing which pages need updated and suggest revisions. You're referencing your voice guide and the agent audits your entire workspace. Now quickly, I want to mention something. One of the things a lot of people ask me is if AI will replace them and I get it. It is scary, but it doesn't have to be, which is why I created a completely free five day email course, which gives you a playbook on how to use AI to become irreplaceable. Each day I send you an email that drives into one of the five traps I see most people fall into that keeps them replaceable, along with actionable advice that you can take today. If you want, there's a link in the description where you can click and then enter your email address to get the course. If you think it's bad, you can unsubscribe whenever you feel like it. So if you're interested, click the first link. It's completely free. Okay, so let's get to the next eight use cases that build on everything that we've mentioned before this. Use case number 12, multi-source database creation. Notion Asian can pull information from multiple sources like Slack channels, Google Drive folders, Notion pages, and build comprehensive databases automatically. A prompt, create a content database by pulling articles from our Slack content channel, Google Drive folder, and Notion pages. Include properties for author, publish date, topic, and performance metrics. In creating a database, you're pulling in multiple data sources, creating a single database based on this information. This shows the integration power of Notion Agent. It's not just working with Notion, it's pulling from your entire tech stack. Use case number 13, turn scattered pages into organized databases. If your Notion workspace is messy, and unfortunately, I am very guilty of this, random pages everywhere with no structure, this use case will save you. Here's a prompt you can run, but some key points here is that it selects the pages, it specifies how you want to organize them, and it creates a database on your behalf. Or if you're feeling spicy, you can have it reorganize your workspace to have a better, more clear structure. And the prompt looks like reorganize this page to have a more clear and streamlined structure. Would you look at that? This is cleanup work that nobody wants to do, but it's critical for actually using Notion workspace effectively across multiple people, and even if it's just you. Use case number 14, database enhancement. Once you actually have these databases, you need to maintain them, and adding properties based on current details, enriching data, and keeping everything up to date takes a lot of time. Notion agent handles this automatically. It can analyze what properties you're missing and then add them intelligently. I recently used this to enhance a database with a property tutorial URL, which brought in YouTube videos on how to exactly edit a 
specific component of my video in the style I wanted. You can imagine a much simpler use case where it's like, here are the names of companies, find me their websites and add it to a database. Very, very, very valuable, especially as you're using large data sets. Now this next use case is something I'm a major sucker for. Use case number 15, training guides for human or AI employees. Every time you work with someone, you have to train them, right? In order to get high level output, they have to know how to do it. The quicker you can train a person, the more productive they can be. And with the rise of AI agents, everyone, yes, every single person watching this video will be managing employees. It just depends if it's human or AI. So how can you streamline this training process? A prompt could look like create an onboarding guide for role based on our workspace content. Include key docs to read, people to meet, tools to access, and first week tasks. This prompt is specifically for a human. This specifies the role and the agent searches your workspace for relevant pages and creates a tailored onboarding plan. Building on this, you can then have it create specific SOPs for specific tasks which you then pass into other AI agents to actually do these tasks. I won't get into this in this video, but there are other AI agent tools. And I recently made a video on 25 use cases that ChatGPT agent has, and I'll reference that at the end of this video. For me personally, I think clear training guides for tasks is the key to high productivity. And as you use more AI agents, the more clear these tasks are, the easier it is to hand off to something like an AI agent. Use case number 16, Auto updating SOPs from change logs plus meeting notes. Somebody updates a process, but nobody updates the documentation. Notion agent fixes this. I just realized I've been using that a lot. SOP stands for standard operating procedures. These are just documents that clearly identify how to do a task. So these docs go stale. That's just the reality. You can bring in conversations or new product docs and Notion agent can flag existing SOPs that they may impact. It can suggest changes and you can be like, okay, do that, do this. Here's a prompt. Monitor this Slack channel for changes to SOPs. Summarize these changes and update the SOP page associated with this dated change. Tag an owner for approval. You connect to Slack, Google Drive, point it to the SOP and reference docs, and it requires a human sign off. This can help keep your documentation current and the more outdated documentation, you just end up making mistakes. Use case number 17, monitor team or personal output. This is simple but powerful. It check who's doing the most work. I don't love this as just writing in Notion workspaces doesn't mean much, but it is a signal to just see what people are working on. Notion agent can analyze database activity to show who's actually producing, not who talks the most in meetings. It's who's getting things done. This is a management insight tool. It's a quick mention, but valuable for most team leads. But it's not just for people who manage teams. It can give you insight into your productivity. Again, not perfect, but let's say there's a side hustle that you wanna focus on. Are you actually working on it and spending the time you need to do it? And this will analyze and tell you the answer. It'll remove your internal biases. Use case number 18 is about content repurposing. If you're a content creator, Notion agent can analyze databases of everything you've posted, find common themes, and identify repurposing strategies. A prompt could look like, analyze this content database. Based on the themes here, create three newsletter variations that use these previous posts for inspiration. The output should add it to the content calendar database. Share the links for the new cards as part of your response. This will go ahead, repurpose previous IG posts, tweets, etc into three newsletter variations. Personally, I'm experimenting with that because I plan on creating a monthly newsletter and I'd love to reuse a lot of the concepts and insights that I've worked on on things like YouTube videos or Instagram videos. Just because it's a new format, I don't need to reinvent the wheel. Use case number 19 is a two for one. Client stakeholder translator, I'll explain what that is, and onboarding. So this is really two use cases, but the title is 19 use cases. And so we're just making this into one. I like 19 better than 20, if I'm gonna be honest. So if you work with external clients or non-technical stakeholders, Notion agent can reframe your internal notes into client-friendly summaries. Engineering updates can quickly become non-technical briefs and overviews. In-depth brainstorming sessions can be clear and actual takeaways for leadership. Or, this is use case number 20, if you need to onboard a new client, it can take the information you have for other ones, create a templatized document that they can fill out as part of the onboarding process. So it streamlines the entire thing. If you're taking on new clients or new employees or you're just onboarding a lot of people, this is very valuable. And that wraps up the list of things you can do with Notion agents. Now, if you're already a user of Notion, I'm willing to bet you use ChatGPT, which means you need to learn about ChatGPT agent. So click here to go deep down the rabbit hole and learn 25 ways you can use ChatGPT agent that'll help you. No matter if you use it for work, your side hustles, or just for fun. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.